Does my hair look cute or does it just look messy? Okay, I hope my husband doesn't come home right now. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video just to get back on track with YouTube. I had gotten some questions about where I've been and what's been going on recently. So I'm going to answer some questions that I got. If you hear some noise, it's my air refresher thing. So yeah, I have the questions on my phone. So I'm going to be answering them from here. Also, if you hear a dog crying, it's my neighbor's dog. And yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Actually, no, I kind of do. I know that it's a rescue dog, so it's probably crying because his parents aren't there or whatever. Okay, so the first question is, what is the time difference from where you are now to your home back in Texas? It is a seven hour time difference. Um, we're seven hours ahead. So right now it's 12.05 p.m. And there at home, it is 5.05 a.m. So yeah. That kind of sucks because I don't get to talk to my family as much during the day. Mom works from home, so she calls me in the morning and it's like around 1 p.m. my time. And my sister will call me before she goes to work and that's around like 1 p.m. as well. But when I go to sleep around 9, it's like 2 over there. And yeah, it's kind of frustrating, but I mean, what can you do? It's the time difference. <laughs> Question number two, how is overseas life? Um, it's good. It's honestly not bad. Um, I just get very anxious here because of what's going on and stuff right now. But trust in Jesus, he will protect you. Yeah, that is overseas life. Question number three, do you like being in Germany? Um, there are some cons and pros, pros and cons, um, that I made a video about, but what I've learned to love about Germany is the cleanliness of the food. I didn't really think about this until my mom was here recently, which is going to be my next vlog. Yeah, the food is so much cleaner. The streets are so much cleaner. The one thing that I do not like is obviously the use of cigarettes because it just smells and i just hate the smell of cigarettes and it's constant like airports they have their own designated smoking area and it's a huge area it's annoying <laughs> but i can't do anything about it it just it's just the smell that gets to me and that's one thing i hate plus the language barrier i know a couple of words in german um they're not like sentences, they're just words for me to get by, like if I'm shopping or something. A lot of people do know English. Uh, it's mostly like the older Germans that really don't know English. Yeah, that's it's, it's not bad. I actually do love being here. Question number four, is your husband staying in the military? So he is staying in the military right now. He just re-enlisted on Monday. For another six years, but you know, technically the day he re-enlists is the very first, uh, the very first start of the year. The start of the new year. Huh? Huh? The new contract? I don't know. He just changed his job, so 2024 is going to be hard. But yeah, he's going to stay in the military. He's going to do school to learn his new job and then he will get stationed wherever they station him but yeah i'm very proud of him for setting his mind to what he wants to do and we're gonna see where the journey takes us question number five i think have you visited a lot of places while being overseas and honestly the traveling around here is so much cheaper than traveling in the states um to come over here and and the flights are so like short they're like an hour and a half depending on where you go obviously but yeah the places we have been so far been to berlin germany cologne germany brussels belgium luxembourg salzburg austria and then mallorca spain and we're wanting to go to italy 
um, one last time peep one last time maybe our last trip and then we'll be doing a anniversary trip which my husband is keeping a secret for me I guess to surprise me but I'm very grateful for the places that we've been question number six I think favorite German snack so I don't really have a favorite German snack um there are these one little cracker things that I just recently found. It's just a cracker with like some chocolate on the on the on the end, and they're called light light bins or e bins or something. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go buy a pack and then bring it back and show y'all. <laughs> that would be my favorite German snack. There's also these brownies that I found a while ago. And when my mom visited, she took back four packs because she tasted one of mine and she was like, those are so good. Another one is, why are you leaving Germany? So, I haven't talked about this, um, only to my family. I am leaving Germany early in January. Anyways, um, I want to get ahead. I want to work. I want to save money. I want to get my dog that is back at, in the states with my mom my parents and also i want to get my own car i just want to be saving money for our future that will be obviously coming pretty soon i also have a lot of things to get in check as well i have to do doctor's appointments dental appointments i have so much to do when i get back home so that is why i'm leaving early with our housing stuff we are hoping to get all of our stuff, well, well, the stuff that we want to take with us to our next duty station shipped and then sell the rest of it. We just want to get rid of it all. We haven't used our dining table. <laughs> like, we've used it probably like three times. Just get rid of it all. Start fresh, start brand new. And yeah, I'm nervous, but also excited. I don't want to leave my husband here but I would obviously have no choice. I'd rather spend the next few months with family. I mean, I want my husband to be there too, but at least spend a couple months with family before we get stationed somewhere else because I've been incredibly homesick. It is not funny at all. <laughs> I miss my family so much. I miss my dog. I miss just working. Being a stay-at-home wife is fun whenever you have access to all these things and you don't only have one car this is a hard honestly it's been very hard but it's worth it in the end i don't know where i'm going with this but yeah i'm leaving early um what was i saying what are you excited to get back to when you go to texas or when you go back to texas i am excited for the food <laughs> the food to see my dog to see my family Sorry, family, you're third. And just to be back in my hometown. <sighs> I miss literally everything. Another one that I have is what made you think of moving back home? So when he gets paid, we're getting groceries, filling up the gas tank, paying the bills. And we do save up money, but it's not a lot that we would like to be saving up. Yes, we have no kids, um, no animals here, so we should be saving money. Once in a while, you know, you want to go shopping for him and for me because we both need clothes. We've been going to the gym and growing out of our clothes like crazy. People outside of the military think that people in the army get paid so much money. They don't. Especially if you have a significant other that isn't working. You're not bringing a lot of money into the house. So what we're wanting to do, or also I want to do, is go back home, start working, save up a lot of money because I won't have any bills necessarily. I have a couple bills, but it's not like an extreme amount. My dog is there. I, wa I want to take care of her because it's my dog, you know. I also just want to work, have my own money, do what I want to do because being here, it's such a not like in an enclosed environment i can do whatever i want here my husband lets me go do stuff like go shopping or whatever but i don't want to do that stuff here because i'm not comfortable with it like it's just my personal preference i want to get back to my old hobbies and make 
all these different things that I have been doing before I even came here and was making like a little bit of money from that and also working. I don't know. It's just something that we both think is gonna help our future. Yes, we're gonna be apart for a couple of months, um, but it's nothing we haven't done before, so it doesn't really make a difference. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, and I definitely felt that when I came over here the first time, well, when I moved over here, and then I got sick of him pretty fast, <laughs> but that's just marriage, you know. Every day is something new, but I love him with all my heart. And I am going to miss him. Me and him say, like, I'm going to miss you so much and all this stuff. And I get on to him, too, about, like, you better be saving money when I leave because I'm going to be saving money and I won't have anything else to do. But, yeah, that's going to wrap up the Q&A video. My battery is also dying. Thank you for watching. And I will also update you more about what is going on. Soon will be coming a moving series helping me pack all the stuff that I want to pack and get rid of and you know all the moving stuff I will talk to you guys later um, I love you all so much thank you for coming back and watching my vlogs also subscribe and comment down below any other questions that you may have I may do another Q&A video later on whenever I get back to the States and yeah I'm very excited to start posting again